What's going on, Cancer? And welcome to the Chariot and Friends. <laughs> Justin here, and I hope you're feeling... I hope you're feeling ready to manifest today here, Cancer. So, for those of you... And really just every day, Cancer. But for those of you who are returning, welcome back, Soul Tribe. I appreciate your subscriptions, your likes and shares. Your support really is just phenomenal, Cancer. And it keeps us growing. And for those of you who are new, welcome. I'm happy how yourself has brought you here. We're in for an amazing journey. So, so the purpose of this channel, for those of you who have Cancer in your placement, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, wherever, Cancer, this one's for you. And I do tarot card spreads based upon ruler here, the good old moon. And I'll talk about what sign she's in, what phase she's in. Wouldn't that be great, Cancer? Like, if everywhere I was planning, like, a moon compass. <laughs> just, just, but uh, I'll talk about what sign, phase, and when she's going void, of course, there's all those lunar shenanigans, Cancer. And just so you're all aware, this is a general reading, not a one-to-one. -one. So take what resonates with you. Leave the rest with me. Never force a reading on the situation, and everything will be dope, Cancer. Now. Let's jump into it. Cancer, your space has been cleansed. Crystals, feel them lovely. Just great angel right here, Cancer. And Cancer, happy Mars Day. It's Tuesday. Hope you're feeling energetic. Hope you're feeling ready to just manifest there, Cancer. And you know what? This is a great energy to set your uh, set your intentions for this manifestation because the moon is going void, of course, Cancer. And with this void, of course, energy, this is a great time to recharge your battery. Just get into some deep meditation there. And considering, too, because right, I mean, we're in the new moon phase there, Cancer. And really just kind of recharge your batteries, cleanse your energies, and really just... I really just kind of go within and find out what you truly want to, uh, what you want to achieve in this, um, in this world here, Cancer, and just, you know, channeling your energies towards that. But also, you may notice, too, Cancer, that your, um, that people may be less likely to make decisions during this, during this period of time, and also that your plans may be subject to unexpected changes. So, just something to think about during that, or during this period of time. And then the moon is in Sagittarius there, Cancer. And that that's a great, this is a great coupling energy between Sagittarius and the new moon phase here. Because this is a very optimistic placement for the moon to be. It's a very fortunate placement too, because Sagittarius does deal with luck being Jupiter ruled. And this is one to look, feel, to get into this sort of inspired energy, this ambitious adventurer type, you know, journey into the unknown. What seeds do you want to plant there, Cancer? And how do you want to expand and grow? And Sagittarius is a very honest, um, honest energy as well so this can be one too really just kind of living your truth there cancer and getting in touch with that that spirituality that higher mind fantastic for that and then we are in that new new moon phase there cancer which is about planting seeds this is a portal of manifestation and limitless just possibilities you know where do you want to where do you see yourself you know what new beginnings are you trying to start it's making a wish to cancer then you know just just following where those intuitive messages are um are leading you but oh yeah nice cancer oh i like that but hold on before we talk about that but yeah and also too, cancer this can be one of you know can while we're can in that void course energy kind of connecting journey with them resetting our batteries you know just kind of um receiving guidance as well from our guides paying attention to that intuition because i just got done doing your monthly reading that cancer this just came out uh, yesterday depending on when you're watching this so definitely check that out you had a very very interesting reading that you had for your month when i was uh that was that was cool to cool to do so but this is a great one to start some new relationships new beginnings all that stuff there cancer and then uh last few things these readings that i do they're not gender specific readings so apply these energies to people as they make sense for your situations and then the decks that I'm working with, which is a new one here, Cancer. And I will remember to include links for them, this one, and there are links for the other ones down in the description box. Well, so definitely check that out if you're interested. 
but also down below are some links for some readers that I love watching cancer who are just fantastic energies that they bring very intuitive group and also there's a link for an astrologer down there I got links for some apps cancer that description box is just loaded for you so definitely check that out but let's go ahead and get into your general energy of the day here cancer which is the accept love card and I like this cancer because I, I do feel for some it's this this I feel like that this is this welcoming of this I don't know there's this it's like this receiving energy that I feel like is coming through there like I feel like maybe for some we've been kind of denying ourselves like our heart's desire here you see how her heart's her heart's just a glowing there I feel like it's taking this new moon energy accepting the and accepting the things that we love doing the things that raise our vibration you see this pot here that 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 symbol on there. It's the symbol of uh, for fire energy, which I love that too, how we have that in Sagittarius energy here, being a fire sign. But I feel like it's a, when we start accepting this kind of, almost like this loving energy as far as like, you know, what we, things that we, it's almost like a Knight of Cups energy, that when we follow our heart and it start ex embracing things that we do love and start really manifesting from that place of love, that you, you're, your, whatever it is that you want to accomplish really does just flourish there, Cancer. But another thing, too, there, Cancer, this is very interesting. This feels a little bit deeper here, but I do feel that maybe for some that maybe we have had this pop or maybe we have troubles accepting love. Maybe you feel, maybe even for some we don't feel that we may be deserving of love. And I feel that there's a need to get down to the source of that there, Cancer. Find out why we do, why that feeling is there and how we can bring in this sort of, this Ace of Cups energy that 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 healing kind of like you know that divine love and that that unconditional love that you can have for yourself and i feel like building that that energy back up there because you are deserving of love there cancer we all are we all are these divine being we are beings of you know of love and creation there cancer and so yeah, I feel like this is something like just just working on bringing more. Yeah, just bringing more of our heart's desire into the into the fray here. But let me let's get some um and manifesting from a place of love. I like that cancer, and, and who knows there, cancer. This might even be depending uh depending cancer if you happen to be looking for love. There may be some. I feel like keeping your heart open to maybe even love coming in in that in a romantic capacity as well there, but. Let's get some tear on this cancer and get some details. In sidebar cancer, when I got this oracle deck, this is like the partner to uh, this tarot deck here. So I was really excited to, to bust this one out. This has been, uh, oh, look at that cancer. But I've been excited to, uh, yeah, to bust this one out. So I hope you like this one too, cancer. Oi. Hold on. Let me get myself together. Open up cards are jumping. It's fine, cancer. And everything's like new, <laughs> so this is gonna take a. I'm gonna gotta get these get these cards worked in. <laughs> Interesting. All right, Cancer. So you have the Page of Wands, the Six of Swords, the Six of Cups, the Nine of Pentacles, and the Tower here, Cancer. Now let's start with the Six of Cups here because I feel that there is... 
for some, I feel like there's this, it's like this, this putting of loving energy out there. It's like once we feel like, once we start, for some, it feels like once we start accepting this energy of love and feeling that we are deserving of, I, I've, and that's very interesting, Cancer, because it's like maybe for some, it's like in the Six of Pentacles, we had this, this energy here. Hmm. All these cards are... All these cards are jumping here, Cancer. I feel like maybe that's for some we've been kind of like running away from the from this love, possibly. Even like we've been afraid to build the solid foundation in the sense that like love may even leave from you, Cancer. And you know, nothing is permanent in this in this in this realm here. You know, it's all about this. They're all about change, but. I feel like don't let that stop you from starting up, but like pursuing your, the, I don't know, it's like pursuing these, these newer, ex, or letting something like take this, um, this, this wind out of your sail in a sense, or to not let you feel inspired. And like, I feel like this page of wands is really like learning to create from this kind of loving space here, you know, moving on from because who knows, Cancer, maybe we came from a place where we were in something that was maybe a little toxic, possibly, you know, and this, like, this, how she's destroyed this tower here, it's just like, th this foundation we were built on, this place, you know, maybe we're operating from a place of guilt, or maybe fear, or whatever this is, and now this Nine of Pentacles here is starting to really kind of work on yourself, doing this sort of self-care, getting yourself in this, in this more kind of comfortable energy here, but... And it's just like the Six of Cups is like, there's this trust, I feel, that's coming in here with the Six of Cups as far as like when it comes to accepting this, whatever this love may be or, and I even feel with the Six of Cups too, there's this, when we start doing these things that we love and like sharing this with others, whether this, because I feel like this is like a, how this, how this witch here is like, just creating from this place of love whether this be maybe for some this could be music maybe you're working with flowers here cancer maybe you're maybe you're um building things whatever this is i feel like the more that you give back and give from this loving place the more love that you receive in return and it creates this really beautiful bond and beautiful flow that's trying to happen here but i there's something with the Six of Swords that for some it's like we're needing to escape from here. And this Page of Wands is like this starting anew. You know, we're not quite sure where this energy is leading, leading us. But when we're operating from this place of love, it, it, it's, it, I feel like it's, I don't know, it's like it's raising our vibration in a, in a, in a really cool way there. Cancer and the Tower, Mars energy is, is one of action, our, our drive and things here. So, hmm. All right, I think I'm gonna leave that there, Cancer. A little something to, a little something to think about. But let's get a, let's get another oracle on the mix here. Oh, and there's a, there's a sign. One of the signs that Mars rules over here, the Emperor. I with a Cancer. We are getting a lot of heat here, Cancer. We got Aries here. Leo just popped up the strength card. Hmm. Thank you. All right, Cancer. Let's see what else we have here. Hmm. All right, Cancer. So you have the Four of Swords, the Eight of Swords, the Hanged, the Hanged Man, and then the Emperor here. And I feel for some with this Eight of Swords here, it just feels that we may have been keeping ourselves in this place where we, and it's like this this sort of limiting place where we it's like we feel like that. It's like we don't deserve something here or that. It's like that we've learned that 
it's just like maybe that even like like love can be fleeting in a sense and this doesn't just have to be in a romantic capacity there cancer this could be maybe even like our you know we have these dreams but things you know maybe didn't quite go as we had planned out here how this emperor kind of has a star map kind of charted out for him maybe the energies didn't quite go what how he planned but there's that I feel like even with like this four of swords, there's this this anxiousness maybe even for some when it comes to having this level of vulnerability. I feel when it comes to accepting love because I feel like when we do that then we're it's like it's like thinking it's almost like when you think about us being like the crabs cancer it's like let allowing someone to come into that safe space of yours and I feel there's this strength that's coming through here with this vulnerability. It's not that we're, and again, I don't feel like it's like we're just giving our, wearing our heart necessarily on our sleeve. It's like it's coming from this place of discernment. If, if, if there's this energy that's coming with love, then we're going to receive that in return. But when we recognize that something may be restricting us in some sort of sense, then we don't, you know, this then we change we change things we we meditate on this but i even feel too for some it's just like that how much how much do we want to sacrifice it out of this place of fear instead of like being trying this bolt it's like It's like, let's say you see this emperor, you see them kind of across the room, you go to talk with them, and then they reject you, let's say, and then we're like, okay, I'll never do that again. And then in doing that, I feel like it's like we're closing ourselves off your eight of swords to that love that's coming through, like the 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 actual energy that's meant to come through there, Cancer. I hope that this makes sense, but... It just feels that it's this with especially with the strength card here that there's this this bravery that's needing to be had in order to feel be in this this state of vulnerability again to feel like that we can relax again cancer and I feel like that this trust can start with uh, just starts with yourself first as far as like you know doing doing some loving things for you you know do, treating yourself with that kindness and hmm Yeah, very interesting energy here, Cancer. But I think I'm gonna leave that there. Let's get um, let's get some advice from uh, get some advice from Big Papa Jupiter here. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> hmm. Who? Oh. It. Why well, won't I won't uh? Check out your other reading there, Cancer, because you have the... Oh, I already talked about you. So, Cancer, last little bit here. You have the Six of Pentacles, that's fascinating, the Hierophant, the Magician, the Star, and the Empress here, Cancer. And let's switch back over. Because with their... Because we got Divine Counterparts here, with the Emperor and the Empress. And I feel that maybe for some, there's just not been this reciprocity with the Six of Pentacles. Maybe we were ones that tended to give a lot. Because the Empress is one, she does have an abundance of energy to, she, she's one that she wants to have everyone to feel this love that she has. But I feel for some, we may be healing from a relationship where we, with the star card, and the star is what comes after the tower, when we have that, that sort of like that, that epiphany in the sense, because tower moments are like that shock to the system, like, oh my goodness, you know, look, oh, how did I get myself into this situation? And I feel that there's this with the Hierophant. 
I feel like it's trying to how they're how they're just meditating here. I feel like that there's this energy of meditating and finding ourselves back to this loving vibration again. Because I feel that maybe for some like something here, I feel like. And again, this could be a family relationship, a love relationship, a friend relationship, maybe even like a business thing where it just affected us. Like it has made us get to the state of doubt. And, you know, we were it just changed the vibration that we may have been manifesting from. And now it's time to get ourselves almost like back to the basics with the magician that's coming through here and kind of learning to just sort of learning to just to, to love again here, Cancer. And. I feel, the star card can also be a card of hope as well. And I feel like it's not losing that faith and that hope that love will come around that cancer and that you can heal from whatever whatever has gotten through here that may have gotten us, put us in this place where we were hurt or that we were, whatever this, this may be, cancer. And in making sure that there is that we are giving that give and take as well you know just like not in this just receiving all of the time that we are that things are balanced there cancer so because that's um that's a tricky place when you just get to where you're just in that just sort of re just receiving all of the time and not in not you know giving that giving some of that energy you know just keeping that energy moving so I think I'm going to leave that there, Cancer. Very, very interesting here, but... And who knows, Cancer, this could be... It could be, you know, because you, you do got some love here there with that, that Emperor Empress uh, accept love there. So who knows, maybe there's someone who's coming off... Offer up something here. And even getting, like, again, that like some sort of past energy, maybe even for some. And with Mercury being here, the Magician, because Mercury's going, depending on when you're watching this, Mercury's going retrograde tomorrow and on the 13th and yeah that's just hmm but i think yeah i think i'm gonna leave that there cancer just uh just something to think about with this is how we're starting off this new moon cycle uh your new your new moon uh yeah lunar phase here so hmm but if you like that cancer if anything resonated with you give it a thumbs up and uh share this cancer if you know someone who Maybe came from a relationship where something didn't quite work out. Or it doesn't even feel like that this Emperor Empress didn't quite work out. But it just, it almost feels like that we're leaving something in a, we're working towards that Emperor Empress type of bond there. And something to keep in mind, Cancer, just now, um, just, just talking, but some maybe to share with your friends too. But, you know, the Emperor and the Empress, they, they, they're not divine counterparts because they like they don't complete each other. They are complete by themselves and they choose to be together to because they do have all this love to give and they want to and keep remember it's not a gender specific specific reading, but they they want to build a foundation together because they have all this love to give and they know that they this can really, you know, expand their family and, you know, increase their manifestation and, you know, just a lot of growth, mutual growth can come from that, this interdependence that goes on there. So, but um, then subscribe there, you um, you star. Hit that bell button, get notified of these. Because I was lit. no, you know, it's towards the end of the video now, so I can say this. Because when I was doing your um, other reading, Cancer, and this is in a totally different deck, you got the Emperor and the Empress. So, a lot of, um, and I feel like these two have been going around, been kind of showing up here a lot lately. I feel like there's a yeah, some love that's coming in the getting in a very romantic energy here, there, positive, very just loving energy. And then the last thing there, Cancer, check your sun, moon, rising, Venus, placement, Venus, yeah, Mars. <laughs> just why not? Can't just check your chart. But yeah, check your sun, moon, rising, Venus for your uh, readings there. Rising or ascendant sign, Cancer, they're they're uh, synonymous. And then come on over to my other channel, Alchemist 8. I do weekly videos. I did, did literally just got done doing your uh, monthly one before this one. And uh, I do yearly ones as well. They're cancers. There's links for that also in the description box for you to go check that out as well. So check that out. And um, yeah, and all that housekeeping, like I said, is down in the description box below. So let me get your surprise cards here, cancer. So I can get you out of here. And you got the seven of pentacles here, cancer. 
And I feel this is what happens when we... I feel like when you start operating from this place of love that cancer and start doing more loving things for yourself, accepting this love from, your, you know, just like this universal love, I feel like it's kind of coming through there and watch how that, how that investment comes back and how things become more fruitful in our journeys there when we're operating from that vibration of love and, and understanding and. Yeah, I really like that, Cancer. Hmm. And you know, Cancer, sometimes when we go to invest in things, they may not work out how we had planned there. You know, that tower seems like something unexpected may have happened, but that's just a time to reevaluate. You know, even if like relationships happen to may maybe go south or not go the way that we want to, like there is something to learn from that because one, I feel like it is remembering that even with the, if things go get turned a little sour, that there was love there once, and remembering those things, you know, and you also learn in these relationships that things didn't quite work out that what you don't want or that what you you know you learn you just learn a lot about yourself. I feel like with these relationships, so just something to be mindful of, Cancer. But let me get your um. Let me get your oracle card here so I can get you get you out of here, Cancer. Hmm. I dig it, Cancer. Okay. Cause you got the meditation card here, Cancer. How appropriate it would be that we're getting ready to go void of course here soon. And this is a card of contemplation, peace, and communication. And you know, Cancer. I do feel for some if we're in some sort of relationship that communication is going to be key and making sure that we are speaking from this place of love and and I feel like that can bring a lot of peace in all of your relationships there, Cancer. But I even feel with this contemplation, it's just like, are we, if we have been troubled accepting love in a sense, you know, meditating on why that is, contemplating where that, the source of that is coming from, maybe with that, again, with that six of cups, maybe there's some sort of past thing that may have happened that got us to this place of operating where we don't have that, we don't allow ourselves to feel that vulnerability and, you know, there's this this fear or that, you know, maybe even a rejection or whatever that is, or maybe even, maybe even a loss there, Cancer, however that might even be looking, but, yeah, I just feel that when we operate from this loving place that there, all that there can really be is this peace that comes from that Cancer, so, and it's like really kind of, feel like it's really seeing how you got this third, look at your third eye there, Cancer. It's really just kind of seeing things here. And, hmm. and I even feel like there's this like, even this love, I feel like that on a more kind of like a spiritual side there, Cancer, there's this. Accepting that love from source and then giving that love back, I feel, can really help you. I, I just just really enrich your life and really bring about this this a, a lot of. I know to really just have you just kind of appreciate the beauty around you and that this journey has to offer there. But all right, Cancer, I think I'm gonna leave that there. So I like that. But uh, you stay safe out there, Cancer. With all this loving energy, you know, and uh, know that you are worthy of love there, Cancer. Always remember that. And you keep eyes on the moon. I know it's a little hard right now, but just do some meditation there, Cancer. Feel, feel or sense it with your, with your mind's eye, you know, make that connection. Accept the love of the moon, you know, she's giving you, we're in this new energy. Uh, and what a great place to start, to start manifesting from a place of love with this new moon base. So I'm with it. And I will catch you, Cancer on the next one tomorrow.